so the video is going to be divided into two part um first part i'm going to explain how the shake works and yes i will explain it okay and then the second one of course the tutorial uh, as you know this is the movement right it, i would explain it as a c um because it kind of like comes in from here and then goes like this right from the top and then like this it's kind of a c or it's kind of like a like this look i'll show you in a much easier way for example um this is our clip wait no i'm just gonna be uh, square because i'm not good at making them by hand so this is your clip right and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it so the movement's coming from the top from here and it's gonna go like this which in theory is your clip is gonna end up here it's coming from the top maybe from there this side and then it's gonna end up here um let me just erase this hold on okay. it's kind of like a movement which is from top bottom and then we add an easy ease here right as you can see so from top from top to bottom and from um right to left so it just forms a c and then we're going back uh into the motion so for we came like this and we're gonna go back And for the next transition, it's just to see, but it's opposite. So uh, instead of um, coming from the top to the bottom, we go from the bottom to the top and vice versa. So right, left, and then left to right. As you can see, it's going to go from here, form a C this way. There, see? Or, or it's like this. And then yeah we're just gonna go back to where it started and there is the movement same thing another c here and in the end it should look like this do keep in mind do keep in mind this thing this one doesn't have any cc which you guys can see probably um and it doesn't have any tiles as you can see uh, from here okay or there and it also doesn't have any motion blur twitch blur nothing okay it's got no exposure no squeeze no term and it still looks very similar if you add all of those of course it's gonna look the same you, you guys just gotta have to uh, master the graphs you know make them according to our transition and shit okay so get your clips ready um fix to them I've added the nose here just to make it uh, just to make the video shorter. You can add them by a plugin or normally which you could do from here. New and then add a no. Anyways, let's get started. Add a scale here. We're gonna add the transformation first. We're gonna do around 120 to the end. Two to three frames behind make a graph here easy is it and then we're gonna make a graph you can see there go to the next one we're gonna make another scale but we're gonna scale it down now maybe around 50 or 48 graph Next transition, scale, not anchor point, scale. Put this one to here and then just zoom it in. You can do how much, uh, however much you want. I'm doing 480, you could even do more. Sometimes I do more. 
depending on the clip. This is the graph. I recommend you could do this too if you want. Just for a smoother scale. The last transition we're gonna do here. Let's put this to 50. And then 115. Or 106 actually. 106. F9, um, make this graph. Scale. And then add another scale just to make it smoother. You know, we're gonna do 115. There we go. Ignore the noise in my background if you can hear any. This is the graph that you're gonna make here. It's we add more um, nulls here. Add a scale, and then we're gonna make this middle zoom in here. It starts from here. Uh, we're gonna put one here. Let's just put a mark here. So we at about 25, I think. And yes. F9, you can make this graph here. To make it zoom in a little bit, add a scale at the end finally to close off the transition. Put this to 30. F9, boom, scale. There we go. And now for the shake. And now for the shake. Um, we're gonna make the shake. Let's add two more nulls just to make it organized. Then color them blue. Quick position here. Separate dimensions. And we're gonna put two keyframes here, right? Put them two frames back. As you can see, it comes from the top, so we're gonna do minus 100 or minus 90, whatever you like. I'm gonna put minus 55 here and then ends here. So we're gonna do this one down 20 to let's say 30. Okay. This one will go to the left. You can see around 40. Listen, look, this really depends on your clip and its movements, okay? The values can vary from clip to clip. And then just go in the opposite direction. Leave these two ones, and then we're gonna put easies on all of these. As you can see. The values are a little bit too much. Maybe I'll lower them down. Okay, perfect. 
Next up, this transition, we're gonna make the second shake. By the way, if you're thinking about copy pasting the shakes, I would recommend you not do that because every clip has its own set of movements that makes it better. Try to mess around with the movements, uh, values, and placement of the keyframes to get uh, better results. And this frame, it goes up, right? So we're gonna make it go up. Left, up, well, zero here. No, don't make it go up, okay? I'll show you why. We're gonna go down here, around 100, and then we're gonna go to flop because it's coming in from the left, coming in from the right. My bad. Let's do the opposite direction and then we down. Put these keyframes to here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe just lower it down a little bit, just a little bit, tad bit. And let's see. That's a bit too much of a movement. Go it down to 100. And this went to 93. Maybe make it a little bit higher here. There is a little bit of a black uh, background showing here, but you can add tiles to this and then when you add the bars, it's gonna look all good. Okay, now the last transition here, we have this one, the double zoom in. Again, I'm gonna set up the nose position, separate them. Wait, why am I doing that? Hold on. I'm stupid. All right. It comes from the top, goes to the left. One of the keyframes is gonna be here, this way, and then we're gonna put the Y keyframe to zero, of course. Um, this one we're gonna put it up, maybe a hundred. You can see it's been plus. We're gonna put it to minus. Around a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Put that there. Put that there. And then just about make it a hundred. And then put go lower here. Backwards. Easy ease, easy ease these, and then there you go. And that's how you make the Nani Malu shake. It's not that hard, pretty easy if you learn how to do it. Execute it with caution, don't copy paste anything. The whole video explains how to make the shake, how the shake works, and how you should put the shake on the clips. So you should have a clear vision of how to incorporate the shake in your um, edit. I hope you enjoyed. You learned something. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and share the video.